cheap. Yeah. Oh, look at little Rue just chilling on the grass down there. Yeah. <laughs> it's his birthday. It is. It's little Rue's birthday. Rue's birthday. Happy birthday, Rue. Happy ninth birthday, Papa. I kind of feel like I should do those questions now. All right, so I have a whole bunch of questions you guys asked me on Instagram because I asked you to ask me questions. So I appreciate it. Let's kick it off with question number one asked by one of you. Hopefully you're watching, hopefully. Uh, here's an easy one uh, from Paula who says, how long have you been on Twitch? Uh, I've been on Twitch almost five years, which is kind of crazy, half a decade. Um, I think it's going to be, look, I'm hazy because I started on Twitch with a different account called Grimtime87, super edgy, but I think it was around, it was around this time, five years ago. So I kind of go off the end of the year is when the reset of the next year starts, so about five years. Goose asks, what's up Goose? Says, what are you most grateful for as a result of streaming? Um, honestly, that's a good question. I should have thought about answers for these. The one thing I can think of, um, extremely grateful for, and I don't know where I'd be without Twitch in this sense is, when I started streaming on Twitch and well before I started on Twitch, I was doing a job that I wasn't really that into. Uh, it was landscape maintenance. So I was mowing lawns, picking up trash, hedging hedges. Um, and because of Twitch, I was kind of able to get out of that, um, which, you know, I think I probably would have been out of it anyway by now, but it allowed me to kind of transition out of that in a way. It gave me something to kind of move towards. So I guess that's what I'm most grateful for because that was... 4.30 a.m. starts, and I didn't really enjoy that. My boy Abby Jacob says, how do I join the Cactus Gang? Bro, first of all, it's a cult, not a gang. Drink the Kool-Aid. Honestly, the Cactus Cult is pretty much just my subscribers on Twitch. You'll probably notice here on YouTube, I never say like, what's up Cactus Cult? Um, I'm kind of like, I don't know, I don't mind the name Cactus Cult. I pretty much just chose it so I could call you guys pricks. It's about it. Here we go, Grievous says, where do you see yourself in five years? Holy shit, that's kind of crazy. I don't really ever look that far forward into the future, to be honest, but I'll, I'd will i like to think I'm definitely going to be a dad at that point, which is kind of scary. Um, honestly, in five years, I don't know if I'll still be streaming. I know it's kind of like maybe a little bit like weird to say, but I'm enjoying streaming now. But in five years, I don't know. Like I have a lot of kind of ideas floating around my head, but man, I changed like the wind. So five years, that's a long way away. But um. I don't know, man, maybe getting back into film a bit more because I kind of miss that. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. Uh, ask me in five years and we'll go from there. Man, I am jumping around with these questions. I'm not really going in a in a straight line, which is kind of my style. Uh, another one from Paula says, I like your accent. Uh, you speak super fast. Good practice of me. Do you know any other language? People tell me on Twitch all the time that I speak way too fast, but it's because you guys chat so much. I have to talk quick so I don't get too far behind. I still get behind. So that's why I talk so quick. Usually I talk actually very slow in real life. I'm actually kind of, a, I, I would like to think I'm a slow talker, but I'm talking fast now. So whatever, dude, you prove your point. Um, no, I don't know any other languages, but we did learn Indonesian at school. So Salamat Pagi. Mother heckers. Anyway, shit's rotating now. I can't. Dude, I am so old. Lilac. Shh, dude, I wish I could. Some of these names are hard, man. It says, drop that skincare routine, yo. By the way, best three months since I found your Twitch. Dude, I'm glad you've been enjoying it. I tried doing the whole moisturizing thing, but I just, I probably should. I was only doing it because I was getting super dry skin during uh, winter. But my skin's kind of okay at the moment. So I kind of, I just literally hop in the shower, get a block of soap lather it up and just and that's uh that's it get out towel dry you're done ready to start your day kimchi kimchi says uh what inspired you to start twitch good question dude i actually always kind of wanted to entertain um but it was so hard i guess growing up imagining myself getting on tv or being uh you know applying to to be as a presenter on a show or something like that and uh the minute i found live stream i used to watch a whole lot of twitch um, in the early days of Twitch, I got hooked. I got hooked, man. I had a couple of streamers, the Justin Flynn, uh, Worcester, Bike Man. Those were the three that I really used to love watching. I didn't have the internet or the, the, the setup uh, to stream. I was 
I had a shoddy Mac Pro PC, which is which was good, but not for streaming. Um, and then I went to America with my beautiful wife a uh, good fair few years ago, I guess maybe six or so years ago. Um, and a new app came out called Periscope, which was owned by Twitter and it was a live streaming app. And uh, over in the States, I guess, I don't know, I just was using Wi-Fi whenever I could at the hotels and whatnot, and I'd just start up a Periscope stream. And we started getting all these people coming in, and it, it, we got quite a few viewers, which was awesome. Like, I felt like I was rebuilding something up, and it felt amazing every day. Uh, after, the, after the day out doing whatever we were doing on a holiday, we would come back to the hotel, and we'd live stream to a whole bunch of people. Uh, and then I came back here to Australia, and for some reason the app didn't work, and I managed to go live like once or twice, and no one watched it, it, it. My viewership was dead and it sucked. And for a while there, I was, I was really bummed out for, I thought I had found something that really was, I was kind of meant for. And then all of a sudden I just couldn't do it anymore. But then I decided to get a PS4 and as you probably know by now, you can stream natively straight to Twitch from a PS4. So I was like, heck, well, we'll give that a go. So I started streaming from my PS4 and I really loved it. And then it, I just got the itch and set it up on my Mac as best as I could at that point. And then ended up buying a whole new PC set up for it. And now here we are five years later. So really, uh, my love for streaming didn't come from Twitch, it came from Periscope, which is kind of crazy. Lou Katie says, you can do a handstand. I'm guessing maybe because you saw my photo of me doing a handstand on Instagram. Yes. <laughs> Um, my boy Osti, Osti Champ says, what was your childhood dream job? Dude, 100% was um, to be an entertainer. I used to, uh, as, a, as a kid, I used to set up my, I'm telling you guys this out of confidence that you won't laugh at me, but I used to set up my teddy bears uh, on the floor and I'd stand on my bed and I'd perform for them. Like just kind of do like stand up and, and act like I'm like a talk show host. I talk a lot, kind of like I do on stream. So um, I, pretty much my dream job was to entertain and here we are, hopefully doing that. Swords, Swords XA says, are you gonna to continue to do photography after everything gets back to normal? Yes, 100%, I'm actually kind of keen to get back into it, to be honest. Like I was, there's times where, I guess with weddings and stuff, it's not like the first kind of photography that I would choose to do, but I do really enjoy it. And sometimes I do feel like I need a little break from it. So this is kind of being good to take a little break, but I'm kind of raring to go, plus the money's kind of good. So I'm keen to get back to, saving some some cash monies. Katrina Dang says, what do you like to collect? Dude, I'm a massive collector. Although I'm trying to, these days I'm trying not to collect too much stuff because I'm kind of almost going with a more minimalist mindset these days. Pokemon cards, big part of my life. Uh, I don't collect them really now because they're pretty expensive, but a lot of Pokemon cards. PS4 has definitely been probably my biggest game collection uh definitely got a couple of switch games a lot of game boy advance ones dusty as heck lots of figurines although i don't collect these really anymore um but they're cool to have anime dvds uh if you kids know what dvds are got a couple of skateboards dvds anime dvds <laughs> a lot of anime dvds anime vhs of course uh game collector's editions uh just a couple of game collector's editions. And I also collected like stamps and coins as a kid. So Michael P. Smith says, uh, what does the AP and Maddie AP stand for? Actually super unexciting answer, but it's just my initials, my middle and last name initials. So, uh, but I'll leave that for you guys to stalk me and find out what it is. Please don't stalk me. My boy Moosey says, uh, who is your dream collaboration with and why? The person who I always click on their content, the, the second I see that they've uploaded, well, I wait for Tay, because Tay enjoys them as well, is that Casey Neistat. Um, I feel like if I was to collaborate with someone, it'd be him, but I feel like I'd be shitting my pants the whole time. So I don't know if I would want to, because I'd be a little, a little nervous, to be honest. I don't know, man, that's a tricky one. A lot of amazing people out there. All right, so Jessica Lamb says, do you have another job besides streaming? Yes, I do uh, photography on the weekends, obviously a little bit, shaky at the moment because of uh covid katrina again says what time do you usually go to sleep honestly around midnight um i try not to go to bed after that um 
but I'm trying to get up earlier starting like this week. So I'll probably go to bed a little earlier to be honest because I'm trying to fit a lot into my day. Katrina says also, what do you do to maintain a positive outlook, especially in these tough times right now? I, I don't feel like I can really talk on this because I don't feel like I've overly been affected like during these tough times. Like I feel like I've been very blessed to, uh, to, to not have to go out into the crazy world and brave it, you know, and, and work a job where I'm forced to kind of have people coughing on me and whatnot. Um, honestly, though, I feel like getting out and getting a little bit of sunshine, even if it's just in the backyard, helps a lot. Just always with my mental state, being outside, just even for a little while is super important for me. What are you like listening to when you run? Um, either metal or EDM. Uh, I've been listening to a whole bunch of uh, North Lane over the last couple of days. Do love some North Lane. Ooh, so heavy. The Marzi Show, also on social for my stream, says do's and don'ts for new streamers. <sighs> I feel like honestly, the biggest don't is just don't expect anything. Just roll with it and keep doing your best. Keep enjoying the process. Keep enjoying what you're doing. Make sure you enjoy it and good things will come, uh, hopefully. But don't expect you're gonna be the next ninja. I'm talking about ninja a lot, but he's kind of benchmark. So in, in terms of do's on Twitch, just keep having fun, man. That's what it's all about. Maddie, uh, aka Purple uh, Flamingo off my stream says, what helped you get through your biggest struggle in life? Oof, Jesus, man. Probably one of my biggest struggles was, uh, was when I ran my business uh, doing videography and I had all my gear stolen, uh, which was like $20,000 worth, which was a bummer. It wasn't insured for theft from a car. And, uh, and I ended up racking up a massive credit card bill because I was trying to still keep my business afloat. So I was hiring all this gear, which needed a credit card. So I was racking it all up uh, and I wasn't charging enough. So I ended up pretty much using most of my money on just surviving and paying for gear uh, just to hire it. In hindsight, probably should have just bought a new camera at that point, but you know, sometimes you can't see you, you, things, something, something happens all of a sudden out of the blue and you just snap and think, I've got to figure it out quick. And you don't always stop and think about what probably is the best course of action, but I kept going that way. Uh, then tax time came around, hadn't saved money for tax and I got in a lot of debt, uh, like a lot. And it was, it was not good. Uh, I was, I was, I owed a lot of money. And uh, it was a massive lesson, massive lesson, which I would like to think I would never get myself into the same situation ever again because I've been there and I've kind of figured out how to avoid that now. But um, that kind of screwed with me a little bit. Honestly, like it's just persevering, man. It's like there's no real like thing that helped me get through it. It was like just persevering. I had to just keep grinding to, to pay that money off while paying for everything else. Um, you know what? But things get better, man. Like you come out of those those rough times and it, it, it really makes you appreciate the good times that you have afterwards. So if you're going through some shit, just know it gets better, man. It's uh you just gotta keep keep pushing through and as hard as it might be, there's a lesson in that which will make you stronger in the end. I can promise you that. And uh and you'll feel even better about life when you get out of it and you can celebrate that you're not there anymore. So stay strong. Uh, Scruffy Monster says, how's it going? It's going good, man. Thanks for asking. Ando016, not the Ando that's, I call Ando on my stream, but a different Ando. He says, uh, what has been your least favorite thing about streaming in 2020? COVID can't be an answer. Least favorite thing? Uh, I don't think I have a least favorite thing. This has been my best year of streaming ever out of the five years. Uh, least favorite. You know, I think it's going to sound a little bit weird, but kind of maybe getting partnered and having like a weird pressure of that. I need to keep proving that I deserve that spot, um, which I don't fully feel like I have. And I feel like I'm okay with that now, but there was this weird little kind of thing in my brain that when I got partnered, I was like, all right, if I go below the average that was needed to get to partner, which is 75 average viewers, which I don't really hit now anyway, uh, I felt like maybe I wouldn't deserve that spot. Um, that kind of played my head for a little bit, but to be honest, I usually push those things aside pretty quick. So I feel like I'm having a pretty good year. I'm pretty happy, pretty happy. My boy Ian says, are there any quotes or sayings you live by? You know what? I don't really have any quotes I live by, 
But there was one that I heard only recently. I've been saying it heaps. Apparently Jay-Z, I heard someone say Jay-Z said this, so I don't know, cheers Jay-Z if this is true because I've been living by it. But he had the, the saying, or it was probably in a song, dude. But he said, if you can't buy it twice, you can't afford it. And, you know, I think that's actually really smart. Which can I just say, that's why I find Afterpay so mind-blowing that some people just decide to, if they don't have the money there and then, they put things on Afterpay and hopefully pay it off later. That kind of, that scares the shit out of me, dude. Please don't do that. Uh, Nikki Ann says, do you miss your long hair? No, I don't miss it one bit. People ask me that, like, kind of often on Twitch. Like, do I miss my long hair? Mainly they say, do I miss my beard? Um, I don't miss any of it. I actually really prefer, although I've really got to clean up these sides because yeah, I'm looking a bit scruffy, but, um, dude, short hair and short beard maintenance is amazing. I wouldn't, I would never go back to washing all that. Um, but also just for the look, to be honest, it just, I think it looked better with this, to be honest. I don't know. Uh, some people disagree, I think. <laughs> KLC says, why did you start YouTube? Honestly, I just started YouTube because I, uh, Felt like I needed one to kind of go hand in hand with my Twitch. And I've done a lot of different things over the couple of years on YouTube. It's kind of funny if you scroll through and just pick a, pick a random time. I'm probably doing something completely different um, every year or every half a year. Um, just trying to figure it out. But at the same time, I like going back and looking at kind of like the journey. It's kind of fun. I mean, we hit a thousand subs recently as well. So thank you everyone that kind of got us here. Appreciate you guys. I'll do another one of these maybe in like a month's time. And you guys can ask some other questions if you feel inclined. Well, I finished my Q&A. Oh, good. Yeah, hopefully I answered all the questions. Good. Mm, good enough. I'm sure you did. Yeah, I think I did. I'm sure you did.